Hwangi National Park is over there. This railway line here is the boundary of Hwangi National Park. Right here is now community land. So that's what happened when Cecil was shot and also Xander. They come across over into the danger zone and this is it right now, here. This is actually my second time here in Zimbabwe. I was here eight years ago researching elephants. This place is famous for them. Luckily, my research supervisor is still around to help me with my new mission. I've come here to see Greg Rasmussen, my old supervisor, and uh, I gave him a call earlier and he said he's got a red truck that'll be perfect for our journey to go through the bush. <laughs> this is the vehicle. Greg's already told me how to drive it. Don't uh, mess up the cuts. Yeah. Do not use diff lock. You owe me a lot of beer. I owe you. <laughs> Seriously, be, I really, really appreciate you'll it. You'll be buying me beer forever. <laughs> As we drive off into the African bush, we quickly get a glimpse of some of its most impressive inhabitants. My first point of call is to meet up with the lion research team from Oxford University who tracked Cecil the lion. The Wild Crew team use an ingenious system of radio colours to monitor the lions in the area. It's pretty cool, so I want to find out more about it. So these are radio colours which the researchers put on the lions. They use these to track the lions around the park. Obviously really important for the conservation of lions in this area. We can work out whether the lions are going into communities, getting themselves into a bit of trouble, and how they're interacting with the other lions in the area. This is Leo, lion researcher here. Every day he monitors the GPS locations of the lions coming from the radio collars. There are 10 lions now in the system. If there is a lion near a community, he alerts them that they are around. I can simply mobilize people to take the livestock into safety. So it reduces uh, the likelihood of conflict happening. Was it Xander that went, it went out and had a collar and they got killed recently, is that right? And you would have known whether that lion wasn't moving, so you would have known that? Yes, normally when something happens to a lion, you could just pick it out from the collar movement. It can be on one place for several days. Mm -hmm. Then we possibly go and check to see if the lion is dead or not. Okay. So this was the system that alerted the Wild Crew team to both Cecil's and Xander's deaths shortly after they happened. I wonder if we can use this system to help us now to have our first lion encounter on our mission. So we, we find the location here, yes. every hour they ping. We're going to find the lion's no problem, is that right? Well, it's not always the case. You need to drive yourself up to that point, and that lion could have moved, and that's why you need to bring the handheld tracking devices. It sounds like finding a lion will be a bit more complicated than I thought, but I'm keen to try my luck as a lion researcher. So off we go to find some lions. I think I just heard a beep. Was that a beep? 